Welcome back, everybody, to explore the Megillah. We're going to go now to chapter 3, Paragimel, Pasuk Ches, verse 8. And here is where, after Mordechai refuses to bow down to Haman, Haman goes to Achashverosh and says the following, Haman says to the king Achashverosh, Yesh noi am echad, there is one nation, mefuzor um mefoyrod be noamim, who are spread out and separated between all the nations, bechol medinois malchusecha, in all the uh, provinces of your kingdom, the doseem shoynis mekol am, their practices, their religion is different from every other nation, ves dosea melech einam oisim, and they don't keep the edicts of the king, vela melech in shoyvila hanicham, and it's not worth for the king to leave them alive. And therefore he asked the Hashverosh to write a decree that we're able to annihilate the Jewish people. The question is, why does he refer to the Jewish people as Yeshnoi Am Echad? There is one nation. He could have just said, there's the Jewish people who are spread out in all the kingdoms and all the provinces of the kingdom. So one explanation that the commentaries give, the Alshech, the Alshech explains, that he's saying to Hashverosh, that, that Hashverosh doesn't have to worry that someone is going to come to the Jewish people's aid, that if we try to annihilate the Jewish people, that someone's going to help them and attack the king, because they're am echad, they're one nation. In other words, they're separated from everyone else, no one else cares about them, everyone hates them, and therefore you don't have to worry when you try and annihilate them. Another very powerful explanation is that Haman is saying to Achashverosh, you don't have to worry about trying to destroy the Jewish people, because Achashverosh was worried, because all the previous people who had tried to do that, they themselves got destroyed. So why would this be different? Says Haman, Yeshnei Amecha, there is a nation which its secret of survival is the fact that it is Am Echad, that it is one nation. Meaning they're united. Their unity is their secret. But now they're Mefuzor and Mefoyer bin Amim, they're spread out amongst all the nations. In other words, there's a lot of disunity, not only geographically, but also in their hearts. They don't like each other anymore. They don't treat each other properly. They're not united. And therefore, since this nation, their secret is that they're Am Echad, that they're one nation, and now they're not that, you don't have to worry, and you can destroy them. Another explanation of what's going on over here is when Haman says, Yesh noi Am Echad, He's not only talking to the king Achashverosh, like we've discussed many times, the Megillah happens on many levels, he's actually talking to the king of all kings, Hashem, as the Medrash tells us that even when it says Achashverosh, on a deeper level it's referring to Hashem, because Achashverosh could be divided into a few words, Achris Vereshish Shaloi, that the beginning and the end is his, referring to Hashem. And Haman, the spiritual Haman, is saying to Hashem, you can destroy the Jewish people, Why? Yeshnoi am echad, there is one nation. And the Gemara tells us, what does it mean, Yeshnoi? It's a very weird word. Usually you would have said, Yesh, there is. It says, the rabbis tell us, Yeshnoi means, comes from the same word as Yoshnu. They are sleeping. They are sleeping from mitzvahs, says Haman. They're not keeping the mitzvahs anymore. They've gone to sleep spiritually. And therefore, you can destroy them. What's the answer to Haman? So the commentaries explain that the answer to Haman is in the words of Haman itself. He doesn't say that they have no connection to Yiddishkeit, that they have no connection to their Judaism, they have no connection to mitzvahs. He says they're asleep. Why does he choose to say they're asleep? Why that analogy? Because just like when someone's asleep, everything they have when they're awake, they have. It's just not operating properly. Person has intellect when they're asleep, person has emotions when they're asleep. It's just that it, it works funny. The person can dream strange things, two opposites at once. Your faculties are there, they're just not working. They're not expressing themselves as they should. So to the Jewish people, when we don't keep mitzvahs, it's not that we're actually disconnected. A Jew can never be disconnected. This is one of the messengers of Purim. A Jew is always connected to Hashem. A Jew is always connected to the Yiddishkeit, the Torah, and to mitzvahs, because that is their essence. That's our identity. It's our DNA. We cannot separate ourselves from it. The worst we can do is fall asleep. The worst we can do is that we're not expressing who we, who we really are, just like when someone's asleep, they're not expressing themselves as they really are. Even Haman, who is trying to find the worst thing he can possibly say to Hashem about the Jewish people, the worst thing he can come up to, he, he, he can come up with, is that the Jewish people are asleep, not that they're actually disconnected. And that's a deeper expression, deeper level 
of what's going on over here, Yeshnoi Am Echad, there is this one nation that is connected to the one God, they're just asleep. So on some level they're disconnected, but they're not really disconnected because they're only asleep, it's only covered over. But if you just wake them up, then they'll revert back to who they really are, which is their connection to Hashem. Have a wonderful day.